Hello Leo, welcome to your weekly reading. This will be for the 8th to the 14th of April, so let's dive in. I do have a lot of cards to pull out for you first, so we're gonna go through them one by one. Let's see if my lovely Leos, please spare it. Oh, I like this card. You have door to personal healing and happiness coming up for you, which is always nice. It's about finding peace, an opportunity. You're coming away to find peace, whether you're just stumbling across this door, whatever that means to you. Let's get you some more. The nice message behind that is like things are really getting better for you. So some of you might just need to hear that. Let's see for Leo, please, Spirit. Between walls, I love that card too. Um, because this is saying that every step that you take moving forward is really towards your, you know, your growth as a person. You're kind of getting the color back um, into you. You're getting a crown here. There's more celebration coming in uh, for you. So for some of you, you're really kind of changing a lot um, and getting rid of things that may have been holding you back, certain beliefs about yourself, the way that you've been looking after yourself, um, the limitations, the the not just the goals that you set yourself. I feel like everything is expanding. Like you're kind of looking beyond your current reality is what is kind of coming through here. Because of that, you are opening the door to personal healing and happiness. Um, it could just mean that, Leo, that you're just looking after yourself a bit better um, than you have been, for example. Or you're coming out of a mental fog as well for some of you. Um, this is all good. I, I do like it. Whatever you're leaving behind, it's good to leave behind. I think it's for your best interest. Let's get you some more. You're really stepping into, I'm hearing the spotlight. So if you're stepping into the spotlight here, but you're definitely just stepping into a better life for yourself, which is always nice. Rabbit spirit says now is a lucky time. Uh, the rabbits represent fertility. So this really could be about bringing things to life. Okay. And again, having luck to bring things into life, for example, that could just mean the opportunities are really coming away. I'm hearing like now is really a fruitful time for you. Okay, so if you're birthing things, it doesn't have to just be pregnancy, but for some of you, you know, that definitely could be the case for some of you, Leo, but this feels like you're really kind of birthing things into your world, which is amazing, and that also means like a new you as well. This is like a, oh, interesting, the card that you have is rejection. I feel like there's something that you're letting go of. I'm going to get one more for this deck. You're letting go of, ooh, I love that. That's exactly what we're seeing here. We have rejection and then renewal. So this is something that you're releasing and what you're stepping into. I feel like this is very similar to this. You have that gray going into color. So some of you may have experienced like a really difficult rejection in the past, whether that's in love, whether that is in like business. I don't know what you're doing. We'll just say it very generally because it's a general reading. Just take it however it applies for you but you know that can really linger you know the ghost of people's judgment of you can really kind of linger in your head and make you feel unworthy untalented not deserving of whatever it is that you're desiring like this renewal energy is you really kind of understanding that that happened for a reason or that happened but it's not gonna let you let you it's not gonna hold you back sorry because with this energy, I really like the renewal card. Because again, it does feel like birthing things. But as you can see, there's two different seasons. She's accepting that winter needs to happen for spring to come. It's a cycle of life. And a cycle of life in this case is you kind of have to go through rejection to find success. All the successful people that we see um, are people who have gone through a lot of rejection and have gone through a lot of crap, a lot of mistakes, a lot of failures. But the thing is, they never gave up. So they ended up settling with success because they didn't settle for rejection or failure. Okay, and that could be a message for you guys is that you're not accepting this. I'm going to call it gray energy. I'm sure that you guys will know that you're not accepting like the difficulty to be the thing that you, you know, sorry. I always cut myself off because I find a bad way to explain it and I never find a conclusion of what I'm saying. But there is a quote that's coming to mind of like, if you're going through hell, why would you stop there? You got to keep going. You got to keep trying to find uh, the light. And in this case, I feel like this is where the renewal is coming is because you're not giving up on something. You're understanding that the winter has happened. The winter season has happened, which represents a little bit of like, 
it's kind of giving me the DEF CON vibes, to be honest with you. It's kind of feeling like a little bit of a change has happened in your life, something that can be quite definitely, not just quite, can definitely feel painful. It's like a grieving with the death card, like whatever it is you're grieving, whether it's a person, whether it is like a situation, an old part of yourself, like that energy of grief is definitely coming up or again, whether it's a failure in something. The death card represents something's coming to an end for something to be reborn, for something new to come in. It's a death and a rebirth. And that's the kind of process I'm seeing you go through as a person in your life in general. And I feel like by understanding the 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 fact that winters came the death god came it took what it needed to take now you're being reborn again there's something new that's coming up here whatever that means to you of course i'm speaking so generally <laughs> i'm not sure exactly what that means for you just yet but you are stepping into a time of renewal um now we have the base chakra here with this red card so this is really about maybe shifting your identity leo shifting the way that you you know, the labels that you hold yourself to could be changing, the, the the way that you identify as could be changing, meaning that, you know, maybe you, you felt a little bit like a loser <laughs> or you felt like a little bit of a failure, whatever it means to you, it could be anything. Um, something that was holding you back because of the fear of judgment, clearly, because you have the rejection card here. So I think the moment that you release the fact that people have said something about you or the rejections that you've been through i think you're understanding that that kind of has to happen for you to find the right thing for yourself does that make sense <laughs> you know whether it's certain friendships you know maybe you were asking for friendships for the uh, by the wrong people you dealt with rejection whether it is uh, an idea i don't know you're, you're fearful of the judgments of people but when you let go of that, you really start to shine. And that's something that I really just want to say is the main message. Let's pull out cards to see like the recent past. That's the way I'm doing it this week. Leo. Three for the recent past, please, for Leo. Mm, oh, interesting. Now, the four of ones came reverse, which is interesting. Sometimes this can be about friendships or um in this case, I mean, you do have the King of Pentacles and the Emperor. This feels like a very strong, like, boss manager. Four of Wands, though. I will clarify this. I feel like I have to. Four of Wands reversed. The Knight of Cups. This is really about being vulnerable. I feel like you were vulnerable in something and it was probably rejected. Like, I feel like you really put your heart into something and it was rejected here. You didn't kind of cross that goal for whatever reason i don't feel like you did anything wrong to be honest for this to happen because the king of pentacles and the emperor is if this is your energy i really feel like this is a very established energy to be honest with you um so it's not really a fault maybe it's just a missed opportunity but it's not your fault like maybe there's just something better for you like rejection is protection at the end of the day let's clarify the king of pentacles the two of wands this is really about looking into the future and wanting to expand um it's a very beautiful energy coming from you because with the king of pentacles it's really about stability uh building yourself up into a stable position focusing on your finances focusing on you know if you have your own business and it's really about creating that you know looking into the future and really wanting to invest in it you know that's a very expensive energy i, I do like it. it's very grounded in the emperor the knight of wands this is all beautiful energy to be honest with you you have a lot of people cards here so maybe there are people involved um the knight of wands and the emperor feels like again it's an expansive energy it's already about maybe you already had something or had a job or whatever i'm gonna relate it to career because this feels very career-wise but it could be in anything it could be in relationship whatever the emperor is really about being in control it's being you know um having the empire but the knight of wands as well is really that youthful energy so doing things doing frivolous things with a lot of wisdom to expand to grow to learn more so i feel like maybe you took uh you took a chance on something and maybe you know it wasn't successful but again that's not equal 
to your future success. I feel like this is just like a learning curve coming up for you. Maybe it spiraled into a new beginning. You changed something up here. Current energy for Leo. Six of Wands in your current energy. So you're actually finding a lot more success in your present moment, which is great. Just about gaining attention, uh, gaining a lot of admirers, whether you realize it or not. Okay. The C current energy for Leo. The Hermit Virgo energy coming through. Uh, this is about really reassessing because you have the moon here as well. This does tell me there's a little bit of like darkness surrounding you. I don't know if this is subconscious stuff, like we've said before, the fear of being rejected again, but you do have a lot of wisdom leo for those who i'm reading for and this is connecting with it's constantly coming through that you are you've gained a lot of wisdom through your experiences in life with the the emperor he's he's wise because he's been through a lot he's spent his life building an empire he's gained a lot of wisdom through experience the hermit is similar in a sense that you know he has to climb the mountain to get to the top to see how far he's come and to you know really reflect on the lessons that you guys have gained climbing up that mountain here so you are successful i think you've reached not a peak but i feel like you've reached something may not even be a goal either but there is definitely something to celebrate um but then the hermit with the moon here it does feel like there's a little bit of rejection or feeling a little bit it's kind of like a little bit of the dark night of the soul to be honest which is interesting because you've gained some sort of success or you are successful at the moment I will clarify this. It's interesting. I think there's another layer to it. But let's see. One more, please, for the present movement for Leos. The judgment. And you also have the three of pentacles here. So this is really about finding truth and clarity on building a foundation, maybe collaborating with somebody here. This is really good. Building a plan. In your present moment, judgment being here as well is really about kind of ascending to a new level it's really about learning the lesson behind something um which it looks like is going to give you some clarity to move forward into a new project or to build the foundations of something here like to plan something interesting so i'm gonna actually clarify the hermit first to be honest because I, I feel like that's the one where there's a little bit of like emotional and yeah, the moon came out again well exactly what i'm saying it's a little bit of like darkness surrounding your soul. I feel like it's your soul. Can you clarify why that is? Why is the moon here? The Knight of Pentacles. I kind of feel like this is coming through because maybe the journey is taking a little bit longer than you know what you want or expected. The Seven of Swords. Hmm. I feel like a lot of you have been through a lot of deceits. I think you have been through rejection. Maybe people stealing your ideas, for example. Or the Seven of Swords with the Moon. Seven of Swords with the Moon is like secrecy. Let's get one more. I will say one more, please, for this energy. Why is this in a present moment for Leo? The Knight of Swords. This is very interesting. Hmm. Now, this is a card about jumping to conclusions, which is one thing I, I feel like I don't want you to do. Oh, you see, I'm, I'm massaging my throat chakra, which is interesting. There was an itch here, and it's in interesting because this is about secrecy. So the throat chakra is about truth, Okay. So there is this energy, maybe you have some sort of truth coming out. You could actually just receive some information about something here. Um, but the Knight of Pentacles as well. I will say I'm a bit lost with this energy. Yeah, maybe you, you're looking at yourself, maybe. And I'm not saying that you guys are deceptive, but I'm saying that maybe there are some things that you saw that maybe... I feel like you're seeing things differently, to be honest with you. Maybe the way that you handled something, you feel like you could do differently. Or maybe people of the past, maybe that's something that's kind of triggering you a little bit because you're reflecting a little bit on the past and how far you've come. And uh, maybe it's kind of agitating you a little bit. It's bringing up old emotions. That's what I feel like it is. 
you know part of you may want to go in and kind of correct someone for what you know you're realizing that they did or something like that but the knight of pentacles coming here i feel like this is the best option for you is to kind of move forward away from that just pay attention to people who you know might be out for their own interest but with the hermit in your position i feel like you can see this you can see this coming the nine of swords is something that feels like it's already happened and you're only now it's almost like a delay in the emotional experience of something is what i'm seeing but this is where i'm saying don't look back look forward if there are some things of the past that you wish you could change note that re uh, recognize that we can't go backwards what can we do we can use that moving forward we can use that to build the foundation here don't get lost in your thoughts okay because this will actually create some agitation that's why i'm feeling the sword energy the mental energy maybe information that you're finding out from other people the communication that you're having from other people that seems to be the thing that's bugging you here this week right six of wands let's look at your success three of cups amazing it's about celebration yeah there's a lot of good things coming through with this i like this emotionally i feel like you're really kind of feeling very grateful and happy with what you've built or how far you've come in a situation and even though there was rejection here in your vulnerability in the past i think you're feeling very happy where you're at and you've come a long way from there i'm getting like I don't know if you guys have sensitive teeth or something with your teeth. Like that's just coming up for some reason at the moment. But this is about happiness. Maybe that you do have a few people around you who, you know, do have your best interest in mind. I think this hermit energy, because it actually is looking at the past column, it's there is a little bit of emotional baggage coming up. But again, it's because you're between worlds. The past might still have an impact on you. You're not fully into this new life just yet, but you are walking into it. You are renewing yourself. Okay? So I feel like that's why this energy is here. Because it's saying don't go back to old ways of doing things. Um, keep moving forward and keep learning through what you have learned. Keep applying what you've learned moving forward because there is a new level coming up for you. Uh, sometimes it's a card of forgiveness but it doesn't mean about letting people into your life the three of pentacles is almost like again building a new structure for your life moving forward based on what you've learned okay so i hope that makes sense to some of you let's see the near future please for leo the the nine of cups wish fulfillment coming in wish fulfillment much more happiness feeling very content with what you've built for yourself and what you're doing for yourself let's see near future for leo you have uh six of pentacles and four of pentacles interesting six of pentacles about bringing things into balance really paying attention to what you're you know giving your time and energy to this is a really good card for focusing on having better routines looking after your health okay giving to 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 others like what are you giving to others what are they giving back to you you also have the four of uh, sorry four of pentacles here though as well so i feel like a message for you guys moving forward is to make sure that you are sharing your success with others and because the six of uh, pentacles is really about what we're giving to others so don't close yourself off too much is one something i want to say um i feel like some of you might feel a little bit betrayed or something like that and i feel like that's why let's clarify four of pentacles the ace of wands you have a new passion of beginning here a new opportunity is coming away but with this the four of pentacles does it look like this person's gonna be uh, taking it no why if salt is here self-imposed prison which is the same with the four of pentacles almost because he's holding on so tightly to what he's got these pentacles that he has that he's kind of not looking at anything new so something i will say for you guys is to make sure that you're not closing yourself off in the near future because four of pentacles you have worked really hard for yourself you are building yourself up here but there is this sense of renewal coming spring energy is coming through meaning that new things are coming to life and we've seen that in the beginning don't be afraid to exchange don't be afraid to to let something go or let 
go of the control of something to expand and to grow even more like that's the kind of vibes that i'm getting here because of the self-imposed prison you might not be able to see how you can have this new opportunity but it's only because of your own kind of blockage clarify the six of pentacles you have the hanged man seeing something differently seven of pentacles and the five of wands interesting seven of pentacles of the five of wands with the hanged man six of pentacles i think for some of you like i do see that there is something that you're going to change up in your in your day-to-day -day life so whatever that means to you because seven of pentacles it feels like you're making progress but it's very slow progress and maybe is a bit conflicting so um the seven of pentacles is really about asking yourself if it's worth it is something that you're working on really worth it whether it's like a competitive industry. The Nine of Cups coming through the Magician. So this is a really powerful manifestation energy that you guys are stepping into. This is having what you've asked for, you know, getting what you wish for here, being able to create the success that you're desiring in the Sun card here. Okay, this is beautiful stuff in the near future, okay? But there is something that you might be having to to figure out and it could be because of your environment with the five of wands why is this here the two of cups could be in a relationship with some of you could be to do the relationship or a connection with somebody could be just a lot of like bickering and stuff like that i would say just remember to bring love back into the situation depends on your uh, situation of course for those of you who resonate in terms of love like six of pentacles with the hanged man feels like there needs to be a balance brought to a situation how can we view this differently what can we learn from this um and the ace of wands four of pentacles some of you i feel like there's a, not a sacrifice that you have to make but it's almost like this you have to kind of let go of the control of things moving forward to accept a really beautiful passionate energy one that's going to bring you a lot of confidence but not if you're only focusing on the negatives okay five of cups is like disappointment and having to in this case for you having to let go of something but what you're not seeing is that there is expansion coming up for you and passion and confidence and um truth stepping into your to your light stepping into your truth here freeing yourself here from maybe the past past beliefs nostalgia comfort zones that like you are breaking free and i'm seeing that you are starting a new like you're reassessing a plan you're reassessing a goal you're reassessing yourself and i do think a lot is going to be changing but you might have to let go of some stubborn ways of thinking be a little bit more open-minded um in the near future because you are able to manifest there is really a lot of happiness coming up for you that you can create for yourself okay um that you can bring to life but i feel like you have to be of course like open to it because it showed me that there's a little bit of like being kind of closed off to an idea that actually might be so beneficial to you okay so there we go my angels you are opening the door to personal healing and happiness we're seeing that i am seeing that you are completely renewing yourself but of course what we're mentioning in the tarot is all that kind of it's not always rainbows and butterflies you don't just transform and spread your wings everything's blissful you know dark night of the soul or you know just difficult times other things that really kind of bring better things into life you know like uh the lotus flower is what i'm seeing here coming from really difficult situations there's something very beautiful grow and that's what i'm seeing for you um but yeah don't be don't be discouraged by what we've said today but i hope this reading resonated with you and i hope that it helped you in some way let me know in the comments section uh, but aside from that i hope to see you guys next time all right